Have you ever tried to sew a godet before? Hi, welcome back to Fashion Wonder. My name is Sunju, and I'm the creator of this channel. In this tutorial, we are going to sew this cute Stella mini skirt from scratch. It has high waist silhouette that fits nicely along the hip and flares out on the hem. I used Polycrypt Sheen printed fabric for this skirt. For other recommendation, you can use lightweight linen, rayon, or cotton fabric as well. If you like to try sewing a godet, this Stella sewing pattern is perfect garment to try. Let's get started! To finish godet pieces, start with the 10 pieces of godet number 1 and overlock stitch along both right and left straight sides. Leave the curved cut edges as it is. Also, apply the same overlock finishes on the smaller size pieces of godet number 2. Press with an iron to remove any puckering or crinkles. To sew godet on the skirt, place godet number 1 pattern on the first cut line of the front skirt right side facing each other, starting on the left side. Pin and sew 3 8 of an inch from the hem until a point where the seam allowance meets at the triangle. Match and pin the remaining right side of the godet to the opening and sew 3 8 of an inch straight stitch. Make sure to not backstitch near the point and instead change stitch length to 1 mm at the godet point. Then change back to 2.5 stitch length and finish with backstitch along the hemline. Continue to insert godet number 1 pieces on all slits along the front skirt. Next, Attach the smaller size godet number 2 on the front skirt as well using 3 8 of an inch seam allowance on left side first and then finish on the right side. Give a nice press afterwards so the seam allowance is away from the triangle godet pieces all around the front skirt. Do the same to add godet number 1 and godet number 2 on the back skirt by placing right side facing each other to sew 3 8 of an inch straight from hem to the point. Then sew other side with 3 8 of an inch seam allowance until where the two seams intersect. Press the godet afterwards and set aside. Place right side of the front skirt and right side of the back skirt facing each other along the side seam. Measure 4 inches above the hemline and pin both pieces together. This will be your remaining godet number 2 locations. Do the same on the other side. 
Sew the side seams with 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance. Insert the godet number 2 pattern piece on the right side of the front skirt and sew 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance to the side seam ends. Then, sew other side to back skirt with 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance. Finish the raw edges with overlock stitch and press the side seam open and seam allowances away from triangular shape godet. To sew a drawstring tie front waistband skirt, Place right side of the front waistband and right side of the back waistband and sew 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance on both side seams. Press the seams open and fold the waistband lengthwise in half and press with iron. In the center front of the waistband, measure half an inch away from the folded edge and mark with water erasable pen. Then, measure quarter inch away on both sides to indicate the opening for the drawstring tie. The opening of the tie is 3 8 of an inch long. Use buttonhole foot and a small button that is 3 8 of an inch in circumference to make the opening. Next, double stitch around the waistband half an inch apart from the folded edge. Slide the waistband through the skirt by matching center front, center back, and side seam notches. Pin and sew 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance around the waist opening. and finish with overlock stitch. Press the seam allowance toward the skirt. Join the two pieces of one inch width and 30 inches long bias cut 
on one side and stitch diagonally to make it into one piece. Trim the edges and press the seam open. Fold the strap lengthwise and facing right sides together and straight stitch quarter inch with seam allowance. Use a loop turner to flip the strap inside out. Press gently to shape the drawstring tie. Use a small size safety pin to attach one end of string and slide through one of the waist openings. Take time to slide around the waistband so the safety pin comes out on the other end of opening hole. Finish the hemline with overlock stitch. Then fold inside and quarter inch with single fold hemline around the skirt opening. Adjust the gathering along the waist opening by tying a cute bow at center front to complete the Stella mini skirt. One last press all around and pair with any crop length top as you wish. Thank you for watching. Hope this video inspires you to make the Stella mini skirt with me. Are you ready to sew a Stella skirt? I'll have a sewing pattern link in the description below and I also included step-by-step -step picture instructions on the website for you to check out. If you like this sewing tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join the next sewing adventure. Share your favorite DIY pieces on Instagram at hashtag FashionWanderOfficial to get featured and follow us for daily sewing inspiration. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!